today on uh, this very special occasion because it's the 125th year since the first All England Championships. Women's singles is up next and Gregoria Mariska Tunjan of Indonesia, the number seven seed, up against Yo Jamin of Singapore. Well, this is the second quarter of the draw and uh, the match we're about to watch is going to play against uh, Zhang Bei Win, the winner, that is, will play against Zhang Bei Win of America. The two players make their way onto court, led out by Gregoria Mariska Tunjan. Let's hear it for the players in the women's singles. The number seven seed from Indonesia, Gregoria Mariska Tungjong. And her opponent from Singapore, Yo Chiami. So this will be a tense meeting between these two players. And of the previous nine, you can see that Tunjun has won six of them. But the last time they met, it was in the second round of the Indian Open in January earlier this year, and Yo Jamin won in Delhi. So Tunjun is 24 years of age from Onogiri in central Java, enjoying her 27th week in total as world number seven. It's her second spell at her career high. This is her fifth All England Championships and she was a quarter finalist last year, lost out to Chenu Fei, who went all the way on to the final. Uh, but before losing in the final. She's been in a couple of quarterfinals already this year. At the Malaysian Open, that was the first of the Super 1000 events and also the Indonesian Masters. Uh, that was three weeks later after the Indonesia, after the Malaysian Open. Yo Jamin, uh, she's had a birthday last month and she was born in Singapore, though both parents are Malaysian. And not the tallest of athletes, 163 is about five foot five. And did spend 15 weeks, three places higher than she is at the moment on the world ranking. And this is her fourth All England Championships and she has yet to win a match at this prestigious event. Three previous first round losses. Last year, incidentally, she was promoted from the reserve list and then lost in the first round to Han Yue of China. On the Polish International Challenger event last year, when she was trying to come back and get her ranking up a little higher, I like it when uh, players who were regulars on the world tour if they've had a, a bad spell or injury problems if they drop down a tier of tournament to get their confidence back up again and then return to the main tour and i think it's paid dividends for yo jamin uh, because uh, she was in a semi-final of the indian open earlier this year and a quarter final at the malaysian super 1000 event I think she's a hugely talented individual. You can see she's an athletic individual. Bronze medalist, incidentally, at the Commonwealth Games here in Birmingham two years ago. So both are court officials from England for this one. And this is the last court in action here on day one of competition. The other three courts have all concluded their matches for the day. On my right, Yo Jiamin, Singapore. <laughs> and on my left, Gregoria Mariska Tunjun, Indonesia. <laughs> Yo Jiamin to serve. Love all. 
play. So, Hill Jamin, nearest to us in the all black kits, getting this first round match underway against the seeded Gregoria Marascotin. One up, love. And Steen, I alluded to the fact that Yu Jamin has been playing extremely well at the beginning of the year, but she did pull out of the French Open last week. She didn't turn up in Paris. I know she's been complaining of sore feet. She pulled out of the Thailand Masters as well. You know, some sort of foot injury. I'm not quite sure what it was. Service over. One more. Yeah, it did extremely well in um, January in uh, the Asian uh, swing there, at least the first two tournaments where she uh, especially played well in um, India Open. And, uh, she'd been practicing uh, with the Korean team, as far as I was told, prior to uh, those tournaments in, uh, in January, and that obviously had helped her. Yeah. Because she is the outstanding player in Singapore, isn't she? She probably doesn't have that many sparring opportunities. Uh, Kelvin Ho on the left as we looked at them. The singles coach in Singapore. Service over. Three, two. So the question mark is, A, what kind of shape is she actually in? How much has she been able to practice up to uh, All England? And B, is she completely over jet lag? Yes, good point. Let's see, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung, she must be really hungry for uh, revenge. Super Series or World Tour equivalent women's singles title when she won the Kumamoto Masters at the end of last year. Oh, that's a good save. And that really was a huge achievement, wasn't it? It was, it was. There's only been one player from Indonesia to win the All England Women's Singles title. A certain Susie. Susanti. The Susie Susanti, Service yes. Five Last time she won was exactly 30 years ago. Susanti beating wow. Yin Xiao Yin in the final. I know, hasn't time flown? Yeah. Six, five. Point at the moment. It's taken by the sideways drift left to right. Service over. Seven, six. You jump in playing with the drift. So fastest corner is the uh, long backhand of uh, Gregoria Mariska Tunjung. That's the one who's the most difficult to play with accuracy. Is unbelievable. What a defensive shot. Eight, six. That's just fantastic, isn't it? Good shot. Looks like she's 
she's got more and more confident to Tun Jung. This rally here looked really, really good from an Indonesian perspective. Former World Junior Champion Tun Jun that was in 2017. That's on the home soil. It was in Jogja Klanta. Yeah. Do you remember who she beat in the final? Yes, I do. Were you there? No. <laughs> she beat uh, Han Yue. Mm. After being down with match point. I think it was 24-22 inside her. You're absolutely right, it was. That's a beautiful shot. Absolutely beautiful. Seven, seven, that means seven, that seven, Gregoria Mariska Tunjan goes to the mid-game interval with a four-point advantage. Resumes with Tunjan with the advantage. That's a super smash. I like the body smash as an occasional variation in any of the singles disciplines, actually. I like it in men's singles as well. Good pressure. Yeah, that hold and flick, Steen. That's technically such a lovely shot, isn't it, from Tunjan? Yeah. Taking it early, so if he doesn't take it early, it gets, it flies a bit too much upwards. But here, the interception is very difficult because it's so flat. Oh, she plays short. What a lovely shot! So you jump in. Seven, seven, nine, twelve. Drift coming into play. Seven, seven, yeah, she should have uh, played a downward shot. It was woefully short, the clear from uh, Chun Chun. Missed it. Didn't miss by much. Jamin's feet are. They were not even close to the first of the trend lines there. When she played that overhead shot. Yeah. Yeah. So the pushes and the clears are woefully short at the yeah, moment from are. this lady, Tunjun. you think that Yo Jamin does stand a little far back when she serves? Yeah, and I also think that um, uh, the service 
when, when she's playing with the drift, I think it's a little bit too passive. Um, just letting her opponent um, take the first um, blow at her, so to speak. I would like to see uh, a backhand serve so with low serve so flickers um, mixed up. Wide. Here is Tim Jung, which ended up choosing side. And she chose to play up against the drift to start with, and maybe that's because she lost the previous match, so she wants to try and get off to a good start. Yeah. 18, 11. That would seem logical. Yeah. Well, she has made a good start. And she's just three points away from the open game. Delightful skill when she comes forward to Tunjun. That hold and then flip. Great disguise. And it is eight game point opportunities for Tunjun. Service over. 13 20. Goods. Now she means challenges. It's a challenge. Is it late for the challenge? If it was in, it's game over. It's game over. Twenty-one thirteen, the opening game. Uh, I don't think she was too happy that it seemed to be a late challenge from Yo Jamin. Uh, but confirmation of the opening game.
So, Grigoria Mamariska Tunjun in the second game underway, having already won the first, 21-13. Look at that backhand defence, isn't that just glorious? Good play from Yu Xiaoming because she got the shuttle behind her opponent. mode mixing it with flat pushes to the forehand of uh, you I mean that's the relatively safe corner so of course you have to keep it open by playing uh, a little bit to the backhand side as well but but um, that could easily be um, a corner that opens up the court if you can put pressure on you uh, I mean in the long forehand corner of both these players on court. They both have this lovely, relaxed hitting style, yeah. don't they? It's just lovely to watch. You mentioned earlier that hold and flick from her forehand. Um, Tunjun. Tunjun, yeah. And it's, it's not so easy to make from the forehand. It's easier to hold it for most players in the backhand side and then flick it. But she can do it really yeah. well from the forehand. The lengthwise drift well so far. Oi. Oh, she could have left that, yeah. I think. She needed to try to play that last one, but it came off the frame of the racket. Accidentally, so she almost left it. Uh, if it has been a little bit more sideways drift, she would have missed it. Shot. Look at this, just seemed to fall off the racket. Yeah, she knows it. Control there by Tunjun. Oh, I like that cross court right shot. I think Yun Xiaomin looks as if she's got a bit more spring in the step. I think so too. She can 
play a bit more freely. Now she's playing up against the drift. Turn your grip. You should turn your grip. Unless it's impossible to get it back in. Oh, I thought that was wide. She's challenged. when she's behind the shuttle, hasn't she? Yeah. That same preparation, you don't know which way it's coming, it all looks the same. And she can play the straight or cross, drop, clear, smash. Wide. Threaded it down the line. And Yojia Min goes to the mid-game interval with a three-point advantage against the number seven seed, Gregoria Mariska Tunjan. Very well constructed yeah. by Tunjun. Increasing the pressure shot by shot. That's a good one. Yeah. That was the setup shot, really, wasn't it? That forehand. Cross court drop.
such a high level. And I, I think Yu Jamin is uh, awarding too much time for Gregoria Mariska Tunjung at the backcourt to play her shots. When, when, when she's got that amount of time, she's making excellent um, shots. High, high quality. And uh, I think if I were the uh, Singaporean, I would try to play with a much flatter trajectory. So on a run of four straight points, goes into the lead. said in that mid-game interval. This is amazing. She's it's been in control, points. but she's been in control of the rallies. And when you are that on the... Uh, it doesn't really matter that you're playing on the, the side where you're playing with the drift, then it's actually a, an advantage because you can't really get it away with quality. And a lucky net cord thrown into the mix. 15, Seven straight points. Yu Xiaoming could do again uh, about that neck court, but I think she needs to focus and just give everything to this next rally, the Singaporean. Got to break the run. Yeah, Patung Jun's just playing too well. Yeah. I think he starts in uh, very early in the rally. Service situation, third, fourth, third or fourth shot. If if um, Yu Jamin doesn't have a little advantage there, then it becomes really difficult. <laughs> so the run comes to an end. Not a moment too soon, as far as Yu Jiamin is concerned, but those eight straight points have put a very different complexion on this second game. to know um, if we had that in the World Tour era, for instance. How many times when the player has lost eight straight points in a match have they come back or in a game have they actually managed to win that game? That could, that could have been interesting. Yeah. Because it's, it's a total um, momentum changer. I don't think there's more than a 10% chance or something that uh, Jamin can uh, pull back from this. It's 10 of the last 11 points since the mid-game interval. It's absolutely extraordinary. And that's landed on the line too. I think that 11 of the last 12 points. 19, 12. Well, I think your statement that it's a momentum changer is an understatement. <laughs> <laughs> this has just been a different player. Gregora Mimuska Tunjun since the mid-game interval. Over. Nice shot there, but Nine most times. likely the consolation point. You know, we have seen some comebacks, not at least last week in the um, French Open. Opportunities. Twenty, 
12 of the last 14 points and seven match point opportunities. First round victory for the number seven seed Gregoria Mariska Tunjan. 21 13, 21 14. And from 8 11 down in the second game on the resumption of play, and she looked like a different player to me, Tunjan. 30 minutes for her victory. And safely through to the second round. She will play against Zhang Bei Wen of America on Thursday in that second round. This is the final rally. The return of serve gets the net court. Uh, slightly fortunate for Tunjun. But quite frankly, the way she played after the resumption of play. She thoroughly deserved that victory. 